Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and uh, yeah, just a palindrome Sudoku today. That's what we'll be doing. Um, so the grey lines are palindromes, they read the same forwards and backwards, otherwise normal Sudoku rules apply. You can be thinking about that while I tell you about the very exciting news that in four days' time, on the 1st of May, we are going to be bringing you um, Demono's fantastic um, story with a Sudoku hunt inbuilt. It is brilliant. It is a really good read. Um, as long as you can get through the story to get to the next chapter, uh, there's only, I think, four of those, but do do join us on Patreon. It's going to be fun. Um, and there are some great characters in the story, uh, and I'm slightly biased in saying that. You'll see what I mean in four days' time if you join us on Patreon. It's going to be brilliant. Uh, really looking forward to bringing that to you and seeing what the reaction is, I have to say. And um, now... What else have we got? Well, before that on Patreon, loads of... Um, I've just remembered I was meant to be doing a crossword today and telling Simon how hard it was. Bother. Haven't done that. <laughs> I'll do that after this. Anyway, there is loads of crossword content, both on Patreon and on the channel, and uh, tomorrow is Masterclass Friday, of course, so that'll be coming up, I imagine. Now, whether he'll be doing tomorrow's Times Puzzle or today's may depend on what I report about the difficulty of today's, which I was meant to have done already. Whoops. Sorry, Simon. Um, now, loads of other stuff, of course. Check out all our apps. They are brilliant. There is... Uh, no, there is no app with palindromes on because we have not yet finished or brought out Line Sudoku, which will have some palindrome puzzles in it. Um, but there are apps on things like Killer Sudoku, Thermo Sudoku, Chess Sudoku, um, Arrow Sudoku, Sandwich Sudoku, Classic Sudoku, all of that good stuff. Do check them out. And of course, Gas, generally, Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Now, um, today's puzzle came in from Serhii Tushchenko in Ukraine, and we're always delighted when Serhii gets in touch with us. Um, for various reasons, of course. We're delighted that he's still doing that. And um, he sent us three puzzles and said, they're all not too difficult, so maybe do them in one video. Well, yeah, okay, that's not necessarily what I want to be doing. I like to do a puzzle and get it done. The fact that sometimes they take um, 30 or 40 minutes or an hour for the puzzle doesn't mean that I necessarily want to just fill the time with more, I'm afraid. And I think for a lot of our viewers, and do let me know, um, it's nice to sometimes get a puzzle that can be done relatively straightforwardly and just move on to the next video. That's my view anyway. So the rules, as I said, normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're going to be putting one to nine in every row, column and box of this puzzle. Um, and each grey line is a palindrome, reading the same in both directions. So that number will be the same as that, etc. Give it a try on the link under the video. Don't know, I mean, Serhii is kind of promising that it won't be too difficult. And what I will say is about people judging their own puzzles is when they test them, they know the logic they used. And constructors very rarely underrate the difficulty of their puzzles and they very often... No, sorry, that's entirely the wrong way around. They very rarely overrate. What do I mean? I mean, they tell us that they're easy and they're not easy. That's what I mean. They very rarely overrate the difficulty of their puzzles and they often underrate it. That's the way I meant it. Anyway, give it a try. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And then hopefully, if it is quick, I can do that crossword for Simon. Um, right, where are we? Got one of each given digit, at least, in the puzzle. Actually, I suppose that's probably necessary for at least eight of them. Otherwise, we couldn't solve this. There's no mathematical element. Um, OK, let's consider this digit which is the same in both of those places. No, I don't know, not that helpful. Let's consider this one, that's better. So both of these digits have to be the same, but this one sees one, two, eight, and nine. This one sees five and seven additionally. So that digit has to be selected from three, four, or six. Now there is a vast degree of symmetry about this, so I wonder if this will be the same here. This one sees, in its various guises, five, six, four, seven, three, and two. So again, three possibilities. 
This one sees one, two, three, four, seven, and eight. So yes, again, three possibilities. This one sees seven, eight, five, six, three, nine, four. Oh, only two possibilities this time, a one or a two. Now let's focus on this line then. This one sees seven, eight, five, six, nine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for everything just in case it tells us anything. Five, six, three, four. Ooh, five possibilities. That's what I think I found when I had a quick inspection of this one. Yes, any high digit, five, six, seven, eight, or nine for that. Three, four, five, six, nine. Okay, those are the possibilities. Well, I mean, this isn't quite what I was expecting, but I think this is probably going to be a colouring puzzle after all. We're going to have to pursue one of these digits around the grid. Something like that? I don't know, actually. Yeah, sorry, Seri, I'm not finding it as straightforward as you as your suggestion is. Oh, hang on, that nine sees that cell. How did I not see that? What three, four, nine, five, six? Yes, okay. I wonder if I've missed out others. Not sure. <clears throat> Okay, I'm looking at six now, down here. Six can't be in any of those cells. Six is either there or in one of these three. Now, if it's in one of those three, it's there. So six must be in one of those two cells. Basically, yes, the simple way to see that is look at that row. Where does six go? Well, it has to be one of those two. And now both of those two, whether, whether six is in row 8, column 2, or row 8, column 4. Yeah, I was going to say it definitely rules 6 out of these positions, and I it does, but it's not just because of those two. It's because if it's there, it's also there. So if it's there, it's there and ruling 6 out of this cell. If it's there, it's ruling six out of both of those cells. So anyway, that is done. There is no six there. And that hasn't decided for me whether <coughs> which of these two cells in row eight six is in. But I might be able to pull the same trick on fours, which has to be in one of those. Yes, four in this column is in one of those two. Oh, but four already can't be on that digit. So... How about three? Oh, look, it's a three, four pair in this column. There we go. This is a three, four pair. And that's interesting because now this has to be three or four and that's a three, four pair. Now this can't be three or four. And in fact, this is, this is what I wasn't spotting. Five and six are a pair in those two cells because they can't be anywhere here. So they're now a pair in those two, and that is five or six as well. Now five and six are a pair here. And I suspect eight and seven are a pair in this column as well. They are in these two cells. <coughs> so this is how it works. You have to spot that relationship around the grid. That seven being seven or eight makes that seven or eight. Now there's a seven, eight pair. They can't be seven or eight. And now we're, we're really reducing down possibilities. Um, we've got that three, four pair, that five, six pair, that seven, eight pair. This is a one, two pair. So now there's a one, two pair in column eight. That can't be a one. Now I'm down to two possibilities for all sorts of squares. Oh, and I've got that 7-8 pair in this row. So those are from 5-6-9, now forming a triple in the box. Mm. <clears throat> I think I can do those triples around the grid as well. This is from 3-4-9. <coughs> There's my cough coming back. That's very annoying. It's really not an illness cough. It's just something getting lodged in my 
just at the top of my uh, swallowing parts. These are from 789. That's a triple. Yeah, these triples apply in every corner box, but I haven't... This is a bit weird. Okay, that one or two, where does that appear in this box, in one of those cells? That five or six also appears in one of those cells. So three in the box is in one of these. Um, but that doesn't work this way round because that doesn't have to... Okay, so the symmetry's getting broken up here. Whatever digit this is must be in one of those two. I'm, yeah, I'm not really on top of this yet. <laughs> I can't quite see how we're meant to deal. And I haven't got any single one digit actually placed in the grid yet. Despite seven minutes and thinking I've made various breakthroughs, I mean, that kind of tells you that I haven't. Oh, look, seven is looking at that digit. And there's my digit. Why did I think... I got that from the 7-8 pair and I should have immediately been able to reconcile it. Right, 8 there, 7 in row 2, column 2. That probably doesn't propagate around much. We get an 8 in one of those two cells. We get a 7 in one of those two. Ah, that 8 is looking at this cell, which is on a palindrome. So that gives us a pair of 9s. That 8-7 pair is not resolved. Um, are these looking at another palindrome cell? No. Those are the same. Oh, that's, that 9 is being looked at. So that's now 5 or 6. That gives us a pair in this column, unexpectedly. <clears throat> I can't work that out. Sorry, I am going to get a drink and uh, ease my throat. One second. There we go. You just missed a huge sneeze as well. And I seem to be right as rain again. Um, right. Eight. We had five or six. That digit is going to be in one of those two. Um... <laughs> Seven, eight. There's probably something very obvious going on now. Well, I hope it's not as obvious as that seven, eight was, because that, that was a little embarrassing. Um, oh, look, nine in this row has to be in one of these two. They're from one, two, nine, but it can't be there now. So this is the nine. That's a one, two pair in the column now. That is from five or six by elimination using the one, two pair and the seven, eight pair. Oof. One, two, three, nine. No, I don't know quite what to make of those. Eight has to be in one of those cells. Not very useful. Six, three, four. The counterpart of that three, four pair is somewhere up here. But so is eight. Yes, okay, so this cell is three or four. It sees one, seven, two, a five, six, nine, triple, and eight. So that gives us a three, four pair here. Now I am really thinking hard about doing some coloring. Although I'm not sure I can extend it round if I do. So just hang on a sec. What about in this box then? Seven, eight, three, four, nine. Uh, I was going to say this must be from one or two on the same principle. I don't think that's actually clear. Three, four, seven, eight here. These are from three, seven, and eight. <coughs> ah, no. 
If one of them was definitely a three, that would be a three, but I don't think we can say that yet. Oh, nine there has to be in one of those two cells in row one. Ah, oh, this is five or six. No, it could be one. That's not true. Oh, one, two pair in this column, as well as a five, six pair in this one. One, two, four, nine, eight down here somewhere. Maybe it's in the central box. I don't know. No, I can't see. That is five or six. Look, it sees four, seven, eight, nine in the row, three in the column and the one, two pair. So that gives me a slightly unexpected five, six pair in the column. Everything else in the column is from four, seven and eight. Um, that one can't be eight. Oh, it also can't be four because there's a three, four pair. So this is a seven. That seems like a useful digit to find. That places a seven in box four. <clears throat> I don't know, it hasn't quite got it all done. That is replicated in one of these. So one of these is definitely a seven. Is in one of those two. Okay, I'm gonna just see if colouring three and fours does anything. Where shall I start? Let me start. Yeah, I'll start here. So if that one's red and that is therefore also red, that one is the yellow version. This one in row six must be yellow. That's the same on the palindrome there. There's a red in one of those. Ah, oh, yellow is looking up to there, so that's red. <clears throat> I had a feeling it wasn't going to get very far. Oh no, it does. Look, there's a th oh no, there's a three in one of those cells, but not necessarily a four. Red has to be in one of these two. If it's a four, it's there. If it's a three, it's there. <clears throat> Red has to be in one of these two, because this is a red, red and yellow pair in some order. Yellow, don't know, one of these three. Ah, yellow, no, one of those two. I don't know. It, I, as I feared, that hasn't really got the fog cleared at all. Um, oh look, nine, nine, that's a nine. Right, that is not red. Um, there we go, that's a nine. So this is red and is three or four and can't be four. Bingo. So it was worth colouring. Red is a three. Yellow is a four. Okay, let's get rid of the colouring on the other things and just put in some corner marks. Um, three in one of those cells. Right, so that colouring worked. Now in this box, these are a 4-8 pair, definitely. Doesn't quite do everything, does it? Um, now, there's a four in one of those two. Where's four in box two? Don't really know. That's a four. That's the only place four can be in this box now. That place is eight. That is going to be helpful. That's an eight. I could have done that sim more simply. That's an eight. How are eights coming on? Seven of them done. Can't do the last two. They're on an X-wing. How are fours? Six done. Can't do the last three. Well, the symmetry's all blown up, hasn't it? 
Maybe I need to be colouring either one twos or five sixes next. Okay, let's colour this one orange. That's there. This one's blue instead. That one in column four is blue. That's on the palindrome there. This worked so well before. I'm hoping it'll work just as well this time and probably fearing that it won't quite. Oh, that orange is in one of the t these two cells, which also means it's in one of those two. I don't know what colour that one is. And this isn't really working. Oh, that's blue. It is working. Right, that's five or six. So this is a one-two pair. This is a one-two pair. This has worked incredibly well. Just as soon as I say it's not working, it really is. This is five or six. It's orange. It's seeing this digit. So orange is a five. Um, I can only put three of those in immediately. Blue is a six. But this is all working now. Right, so we must be getting close to a finish now. It's a very neat puzzle, it really is. I mean, classic Serhi work. Um, six is in one of those cells, it's right there. There we go. Now, let, let's get rid of all the colouring. It's again served its purpose. That six replicates to here. Not in one of those two. One of those is this one, which is a five. Uh, so one of those is a five, one of those is a five. These don't have a six in there, a five, nine pair. In fact, we've got a five down there to reveal how they work. That is, look, this is naked because of that one, two pair. It also sees four, five, six, eight in the row, three in the box, seven in the column. That's a nine. That might finish off nines for us. I think it's done it. Then we get a three here. That could finish off threes. We get a seven. Oh, we got a three in the corner. Party, thank you, Sven, as always. It's still a massive surprise every time. Um, <clears throat> three in the central box is there. That's one or two. This is a one, two, five triple. I can't seem to place four and seven in the rest of the column. One, two, four, nine, six, eight. We've got three, five, and seven. Right, three goes there, seven goes here, five goes there. Now we can do four and seven. This one is a one or a two, and we might be going to colour them in a moment. I hope it won't be necessary at this point, to be honest. One or four, that's two or four. This one ought to be known, shouldn't it? Haven't we done fives and sixes? Yes, up here is a six. So that's a five. This is now not a five. That is. And this is one or two. We're just going to be left with ones and twos to sort out. Um, and the ones at the top of the grid will surely tell me. One or five. That is a naked two. So that is going to help with the ones and twos sorting out. We get a two on this palindrome. That goes there, this is a one, that's a two, that's a one, that's a two, that's a one. Uh, did we not get another palindrome? We get this as a one. Oh, those bottom three ones and twos, yes, they're sorted out in columns four and six. So one there, two there, one on the palindrome, two there, two, one. This has become a five, this eight, seven pair leaves one pair in the grid eight and a four and there we go well i think sergey said he said 15 to 25 minutes each and that's taken me just 20 minutes so he's absolutely right even if i could take out half a minute for the uh the coughing sneezing fit snoffing anyway thank you very much for watching and uh brilliant i hope i hope you are satisfied with a puzzle like that i certainly am very good stuff from sergey and uh, good luck to him. Let's hope to see you again tomorrow. More variant Sudoku. Bye for now.